Hi, this is Quant Namat. Welcome to my channel. So in this video, we'll show you um, some of the best uh, free APIs you can use to get historical data for stocks. And um, I use these uh, three um, APIs quite a lot. But if you have any other suggestions for uh, really nice APIs, let me know in, in the comments. And also I will uh, show you how you can use uh, these APIs from R and how you can easily get data from them. So, and let's start with uh, Yahoo Finance. So this is a quite old website and quite nice. You can just go to Yahoo Finance, finance.yahoo.com. You can find uh, what, um, what, what stock do you want to get up for? And you can find here quite a lot of information. And I'm interested in historical data. I just click this top and you will see that here you have quite a lot of information, just uh, like historical data. And you can find here like time period for what period you want to get data uh, for. And uh, you can also add, you know, dividends and stock splits as well. Uh, you can just choose like frequency, weekly, monthly, whatever you can apply it. And after that, you can download it as well. And it's not very nice if you have to create, if you want like programmatically, then load it, then load it, load it into your uh, like programming language, like manually, it's not very nice. So in R, you have a kind of easier solution. You can use a quant mod uh, package. And in this package, you can find get symbols uh, function. And with this function, you can get a data from Yahoo Finance quite easily. So quant mod for, for a library is really nice. It has quite a lot of features about uh, here. I will just concentrate on get symbols uh, function. So just call it and um, just with you can even call it with only one parameter. And after that, it will create uh, like um, a data frame or, or XTS object with exactly the name of your symbol. And after that, you can, you can check that, okay, we have this data. So as you can see, we uh, got the data for Apple. So we have like Apple open, high, low, close volume and adjusted price as well, if you need it. And, um, but also you can actually create like uh, your own, um, your own kind of XTS object. For that, you need to create to pass auto assign parameter to false and um, you enough that will work for you and this will create your own variable called D. Also you can specify for example from and uh, to parameters from for what period you need data for and also you can uh, specify for example return class to get data for, as the data frame and not XTS object if that works for you better. So I think that's it for Yahoo Finance. It's really nice tool you can use to get data for majority of like US stocks and US ETFs. So it's quite uh, nice. But now let's go to the other solutions. So now let's check IEX Cloud. So it's really, really nice uh, API. So you have quite a lot of interesting stuff here. Let's go to Docs and you will see here, here you have just myriads of different uh, functions, uh, APIs, you can get whatever you want, you know, like stock fundamentals, research, uh, corporate actions, market info, whatever, cryptocurrencies, like Forex options, um, like you have here a lot of a lot of stuff. Some of this data is premium, as you can see here, example, the here is premium data, you need to kind of explicitly pay for it. But everything else is, um, is free. You have uh, kind of like some limitations on um, they call it messages, you can use uh, so every um, API cost uh, some um, messages and um, you can uh, check that behind like uh, below the every APIs, you can see how how much it weights. I think you have for free account, you have like around half a million of these messages you can use for different APIs. Um, so to get like historical prices um, from um, xCloud, you can use uh, this um, uh, this API. So basically it's uh, quite easy as well. So basically you need to just basically form some sort of URL with your like uh, stock, your your symbol you want to get data from, then chart keyword, then your, your age or date you want to get um, your data for. And as you can see, it's quite simple. So here is example of um, how it looks. So by default, it outputs you a JSON object. And uh, to work with it, you need to parse uh, this JSON object. So let's go to R and I will show you how you can do that. So I here I use libraries JSON Lite and HTTR to get data from um, from iXCloud. 
So as I said to you, like you need to form your URL. So basically here's how it looks like. And uh, I just put my symbol, I will put my uh, token. So when you will register in xCloud, you will get your token and you can use it in your, um, in your calls. Um, uh, all the time after that so i just first i form like my um string as, as i see as, as you see it here and um after that i just pass my url to a get function get function will just basically just uh call a get uh request and it will get data from this url and after that you need to parse your contact as the content as text and after that you need to parse it from json to a data frame and basically that's it uh, let's uh, execute it and as you can see we have really a nice uh, data frame with all information we need with all historical uh, information we, you, you need and as i said in ix cloud you can find like anything like intraday prices um whatever options just explore this api it's really really nice i think you can find here quite a lot of useful information and the problem with it is a bit limited. So if you uh, want to get like quite a lot of data from uh, API, you might have um, some problems and you, you probably have to purchase kind of like a bigger kind of like a paid account for that. But if you don't need too much data, I think it's really nice to, to have just small amounts of data. And now let's go to the last API I will show you. Uh, this is Alpha Vantage. So it's also quite a nice um, API. Let's go into the documentation and you can see you have not so much kind of um, APIs, not so much information you have in xCloud, but you can find here quite a lot of interesting, like you can find here and intra the data, daily data, adjust it. You can have some Forex data here and some cryptocurrency data as well. And um, nice thing about that is it's free to use. You have some limitations on about like, I think like 5,000 call a day, but uh, quite often that can be enough for you to get your information. And um, let go, for example, for daily and uh, idea is pretty much the same. You have to kind of compose like a URL with what you want to call for what symbol and you need to provide like your API. Uh, to uh, Alpha Vantage, and this will be basically uh, get um, your data for from your API, and uh, that's basically it. The nice part is that you, you can download your data as CSV file directly. You don't need to parse them JSON if you don't like that. It's much easier to use it as CSV. So let's go to um, to R, and you will see that it's actually much easier. So again, here I have my symbol. I want to get data for IBM my key i use uh, demo in this example and after that you just compose your url with your symbol and your key and i specify that i want to download it as csv and after that i just use a uh, read um, underscore csv function to get um, my, my data from alpha vantage and basically that's it it's quite easy let's execute it and here you have um, data for my IBM. So as you can see, it's quite easy as well. So I think that's all. These are all kind of free APIs I'm using for stock data. And uh, for some of them, I have some like paid accounts because I download more data than I, I, I can with a free account. But um, I think they're all quite nice. If you use anything else, let me know in the comments. So I think that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.